filled up. <clears throat> it is 8.36 the next morning, and yes, I am very, very aware of the fact that yesterday's video kind of just went straight up in the air. <laughs> Who cares? It ended. <laughs> I didn't get any load information that would suit a good load from where I was at in only an hour and nine minutes, so... I just sat here about a mile and a half from the consignee yesterday at a Casey's general store. That worked. Yeah. <clears throat> but now I am headed to Alcoa in Bettendorf with a load heading to Fort Worth. And for some reason it's trying to route me through the Des Moines terminal. I wonder if that's just for fuel or what the deal is. Oh, yep, looks like it. Alright, that'll work. What are you over buffering for? You're being stupid. Again, you're very stupid. But, he said I'd be able to route this through the house. And the route kind of does take me that general direction if I don't follow the GPS, which I'm totally not going to because it's retarded. <laughs> My GPS wants to take me all the way down 35, basically all the way, which means going through Kansas City all the way to the other side of Kansas and straight down into Oklahoma City. That's absolutely freaking lutely ridiculous, okay? When I can just take 69 all the way down out of Joplin. Yeah. It's just freaking retarded. And 69 will take me right where I want to go. So, yeah, there's that. And from here, I have 142 miles to get to Bettendorf. My tanks are ready to go, so I'm ready to go. So we're going to do this thing. And we might actually get to recharge these batteries, which seem to like dying on me since I seem to have forgotten to recharge my other two pairs. Actually, two quads, I guess. I have eight more of these things other than four that are in this camera currently. So, yeah, let's get out of here before I waste too much more time. And this day is over before you know it, too. Go figure. Uh, uh, it is volume one. 907. It is 1046 in the evening. And I drove the living crap out of everything today. <clears throat> My next project is to figure out, <clears throat> do I want to drive home tomorrow, use a whole crap load of outer route in the process, spend maybe a grand total of 10 hours there and get nothing done, or I can just drive straight over to the consignee in Fort Worth tomorrow in the morning, save a lot on outer route and get stuff done on the computer all Sunday. I can do that. <clears throat> but, first things first, I'm gonna give you a look at what I discovered today. Oh. Home. Messaging. You are out of hours of service driving time. You annoy me more than anything else in this world. Uh, I've been here for a little while now. I didn't realize I've been here that long. Huh. Only had two hours and nine minutes left to drive. Yay! Fun stuff! What was I gonna say? Um... Yeah, I did pretty good today. <laughs> Got my load, it took forever. It is aluminum sheets from Alcoa in... Right over there by Davenport. So... My Peterbilt doesn't sit right. You can't see it anyway. What was I going to show you? I was going to um, show you this. Messaging. Oh, uh, here we go. Yeah, this is my stuff for last week's loads. I think I told you I made about 5,100 to the truck. Maybe 52. Yeah. That's what I'm taking home from last week. That freaking rocks right there. I can't help but say that. But... This is the important thing right here. The 13 week average is doing pretty good. My fuel economy doing pretty darn good. 
30 points. They keep raising it up on me. They keep screwing me out of <laughs> more points. I think the uh, uh, 40 points is 6.24 right now. So I'm a little under that, unfortunately. But check out my out of route. I am maxed out on my out of route right now. 3.97%. My idle time, that's from my last service. It's no longer true. That's not important. That's not important. I mentioned I might have a chargeable ETA change. That was not true, which is great. Paperwork turnaround doesn't go for any points, but I'm doing good on that anyway. That is my passport, since that's all I have right now. Otherwise, I'd have two more points per, so I'd have eight total points here if I had everything, which would be good, I guess. Then there's the TQM, got that done, got an extra five points from that. My CSA score, 10 points, I lose five, 20 points, I lose 10, 30 points, and you're pretty much screwed out of all that point for a year. Yeah, and this is what really screwed me over right here. Those two weeks where I lost those points, it sucks. And then, of course, there's the appearance points. You can keep those or lose them at service intervals or whatever. I'm at 30. You know, I was a little worried there that I was going to drop to like 29 or 28, but I'm still holding 30 by a pretty decent margin. I mean, 176 points. The minimum is 170. Okay, I feel better now. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, this night is over, and so are these batteries, so I'm going to go ahead and shut down.